What was your most horrifying moment in school? Mine happened on the first day of the sixth grade. Back then, probably the most important decision a newly graduated fifth grader has to make during the summertime is what he she will wear the very first day of sixth grade. In my area, sixth grade meant the beginning of middle school. Middle school meant a la carte lunches, dreaded showers after gym, and eighth grade girls. The first day in a new school could seal your fate for the rest of the school year, and what is one of the most important decisions I was going to make? What I was going to wear. After much consideration, I decided on a blue Florida Gators t-shirt, with matching blue Florida Gators shorts, tucked in, mind you, you know, the ones with the gator sewn on the left leg trim. My parents bought it for me when we visited Florida in the summer. I thought I was the man. My new Florida Gators gear, starting a new school, and, get this, an older girl sat next to me on the bus. I think she was in seventh grade. I was riding pretty high, and actually made small talk. It went a little something like this. Me, yeah, I'm excited for the first day. Her, looks at my shorts. What's up with your shorts? Me, what do you mean? We got them on vacation, they are the Florida Gators. Her, no. I can see dot is that your underwear? Me, what? Ha. Huh. This next line will haunt me for the rest of my life. Her, you are wearing boxer shorts as shorts. I was in sixth grade. I didn't know what boxer shorts were. I always wore tidy whiteies. The dead giveaway that I was wearing underwear to school was the pee hole you get in boxers. I never even took notice or let alone knew about boxers. At that age, all I ever wore were umbro shorts, and these boxer shorts looked pretty similar to me. I spent the rest of the day trying to not have my gleaming white undies show out of the boxer shorts I was wearing thinking they were normal shorts. TLDR, I should have gone for the umbros. It was the first day of school, and I was just starting first grade. I was in a brand new school, and I didn't know anybody, so I was really scared. About halfway through the day, I had to go to the bathroom. For some reason, even though my teacher was a really nice lady, I was afraid she was going to say I couldn't go to the bathroom. So I sat there and held my pee for as long as my little six-year-old bladder would allow me to, which was about three minutes probably. Eventually I could not hold it in anymore and I pissed my pants. It got on the floor and went under my desk. Somehow, no one noticed that there was dripping water coming from underneath my chair, so I sat there with my wet pants for a good 20 minutes. Eventually the girl behind me raises her hand and I hear her say. Mrs. Teacher I have water under my desk. At this point I think I'm screwed and the teacher is going to call me out for pissing my pants and everyone is going to know and I'm never going to have any friends. But luckily the teacher said she would take care of it later and then after the school day was over she called me up to her desk and says. Etc. Did you go to the bathroom in your pants? And at that point I just started crying because I was so embarrassed. The teacher was really nice about it though and she told me that it's okay and that it happens to everyone sometimes. We made an agreement from that point on that every time I got up and went to the bathroom to do my business, she would give me a skill. So it all worked out in the end. TLDR, pissed my pants during school when I was six, doesn't matter got skittles. Oh boy. Kindergarten probably the first week or so. I asked to use the bathroom, the girl's room has someone in it, so my teacher says to use the boy's room, it was single occupancy. So I walk in and I see this new contraption there. I think to myself, well that's a different kind of toilet, but it looks like fun. I drop my pants and hop up onto this bad boy and commence taking a dump. I forgot to lock the door, hey it was the boy's room. I was too distracted by being allowed into the boy's bathroom. And one of the other boys walks in and starts shouting to the class about how I pooped in the urinal. In sixth grade I went to the Bahamas with my parents for a winter vacation. On the beaches down there, women walk around and try to sell things, particularly hair braiding. I decided that getting my hair braided would be kind of cool so I did. When we got back to the states, I decided to keep my braided hair, 
complete with green and white beads, for my first day back at school. I am a white male. It was one of the worst decisions of my adolescent life. Chewing on red pen, it exploded. Desperate to get rid of disgusting taste, I ran up to teach her. She thought it was blood, started freaking the fuck out. Called nurse up, ignoring my attempts to explain it was just ink. Couldn't talk coherently because my mouth was filled with bitter red liquid. Red ink saliva dribbling out my mouth, desperate not to swallow it. Tried to run out of classroom to water fountain, teacher practically tackled me to stop me. Thought I'd gone bats hit crazy, bit my tongue off, and was a danger to self others. No one seemed to understand that it was just fucking ink. Eventually had mental evaluation, even after it was clear that there were no injuries and I could explain, no, really, my pen exploded. Till a lot of people pee their pants in sixth grade. I did it at a field day. I was wearing gym shorts and been drinking water all day. I went to the bathroom and a friend comes storming in. I had a knee-jerk reaction to pull my shorts up midstream and keep pissing all over my shorts. Fully pantsed in front of about 70 people freshman year in gym. Sucked. TLDR don't pants dack people. It's really hard to live down and mean as shit. Was pants during a fire drill in 7th grade. Had period. Was wearing a nice thick pad. With wings to secure it to my underwear. This story actually takes place the day after a dance. But at a 6th grade dance I ended up dancing with the hottest girl in school. She wanted to dance close, but being a shy kid, I decided I would keep my distance. The next day on instant messenger she asked me why I wouldn't dance closer to her. To this day I do not know why I said this, but my response was, because I had a really big boner. I never talked to her again. Third grade at PE we were doing new exercises, and it came time for the sit-ups. Coach Smith paired me up with this Latino girl I had a mad crush on, and we were to show the class how to do a sit-up. She was to hold my legs while I did the sit-ups and count. Afterward I was to hold her legs down while she did the sit-ups. It was going to be awesome. My time came to do the sit-ups. At the fifth sit-up, I cut the hugest tootiest fart I had ever done. The whole class laughed at me, and then tried to imitate what I had done. She jumped back and ran away screaming. I cried. Coach ended PE class early that day. Lesson learned never fart in public. <laughs>